Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of Vault Hunters. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm having a fantastic day. Last episode, we hit level 25, which is a pretty big deal, because now we can find vault ore, or I should say vault gear, inside the vaults. Our next vault crystal takes gravel, uh, which is going to be a bit of a nuisance, but that's probably fine. Uh, today, I think I want to start off by running a vault, and I think... Let's just check and see what we have here for catalysts. So, Gilded Difficult, Gilded Raging. I think between the two of these, I'd rather go with uh, Difficult, because I think this is like plus 15 vault level, but this uh, Raging is like mobs deal 100% more damage or 150% more damage or something insane like that, which would be just in uh, not great. Um, personal Space, Giant, and Tired, Lucky, Trapped, and Slowed. Eh, yeah. I mean, I think Gilded Difficult would be the way to go there. Eh, none of these look that great. What is Odyssey? I don't actually know what that one does. Odyssey. Plus 50% artifact chance. Okay. So that's, uh, like, fine. So far, I'm still leading towards gilded and difficult. Healing difficult, luckier trapped. Yeah, I think I think I want to go gilded and difficult here. It's going to make the, the vault itself a little bit more annoying, but gilded could be really good. And I think, like, why wait? Let's just do it. Let's just go for it. Please work. Thank you. And it was just gilded and difficult. Okay, cool. So, let's go ahead and create a waypoint like we always do. And I guess now we just start looking around. I should make sure I have a couple of potions and some blocks. There we go. So, vault plating? I don't know what that does, but could sound like it might be something moderately useful. Um, not a huge fan of this room, though. I don't think this is going to be a, a room that we want to spend too much time in. Uh, let's just eat a candy bar, because it will help us get around the vault and get to these other rooms, like, way faster. Which I think is probably worthwhile. Like, I think using some vault candy bars... Yeah, this is exactly why. Right here. We have found ourselves a village. That's compressed gravel, which I actually need. Where'd it go? There we go. Oh, hi, mobs. Um, let's peek inside. What do we got in here? No chests on this floor. There's pretty much always a gilded chest up on the top floor somewhere. Yep, there we go. Good stuff. Okay, doesn't look like there is a portal room, unfortunately. That's a really good chest. Uh, we'll leave all of this stuff in there. Hit up the prison. Ooh, I do actually see a vault door here, so I am going to do that. And then mobs spawn inside here, so... I'm not super... You can have the white carpet, too. I don't need that. Okay, nothing else there. Eh, just a healing potion, blaze rod. Like, these village rooms are always really good. <laughs> Even... Oh, hi. You kind of came out of nowhere. Uh, yeah, these village rooms are always really good. Even if, like, you don't find anything super crazy in, in like even without the portal room I think it's always worth poking around a bit down below wait is this another this is another village room this is our second village room in this same vault this is nuts okay cool um take the good stuff yeah I, I'd like to get away please we did use okay um don't get trapped this is the place. Okay. Uh, again, unfortunately, I do not see a portal room. Prison over here with lots of goodies. Oh, definitely don't want to get rid of that. 
Nah, I don't want the flint. Hi. Uh, excuse me. Okay, this is actually bad. They do so much damage. What is going on? Why am I... Oh, goodness. Uh, I nearly died right there. That was uh, rather terrifying. Dude, spiders are so bad. Oh, this is very bad. Like, this thing has 26 health. That's insanity. That's more than an Enderman. <laughs> why, why do you have so much health? We're at the point where their health cannot... This zombie has 72 health. This is a little nuts. Lots of good stuff, though, from this vault, I gotta say. Like, we're doing great as far as loot and stuff goes. It's just a matter of making sure that we get out of here in one piece. And I think, honestly, we've gotten basically all the stuff from this room. From down below here, because there's no, uh... There's no portal. So... Okay, this is bad. Yeah, that was not great. Okay, we're still in one piece, though. We're fine. Okay, we have a room here with a whole lot of gilded chests, which is great. Uh, we need to make sure that we live long enough to actually loot them all, but there's a lot of chests down here. Like, just look at all of these gilded chests. No, that's not netherite. I thought that was a netherite block for a minute. I was going to be very excited. Um, are there any more gilded chests hiding down below on the floor? I don't think so. We came, I believe, from there, right? We've already looted this. Yes. So, I think... The smart thing to do is just make sure we get out in one piece. Like, I know there are other chests and stuff, but at the same time, we have a lot of vault left to explore. I will say, you save so much time by using the vault candy bars just to go between rooms. Like, it really makes a difference. There are, oh, I was going to say there are no chests here, but there's at least one. Not a particularly great chest, but it is... I mean, it, like, it's not a gilded chest, but as far as being a not-gilded chest, like, I can't complain. Uh, it'll have to do. Let's go this way. Okay, just a forest room. Not a whole lot here. There's a gilded chest. Take all the things. There's another one. Take all the things. More gilded chests. That's a trapped one. Or a, a mob summoning one, I should say. Oh no, I lost a crate! Oh no! I'm never gonna find it again. That's extremely unfortunate. <laughs> There's no way, right? Like, there, I'm... I have no idea. Oh, goodness. It would have been a crate that I absolutely... Uh, that I dumped stuff into accidentally. Um... Shoot. That's so bad. There it is. Okay. Whew! That was close. <laughs> Thank goodness we weren't... I didn't get rid of it, like, way earlier. How are we doing on time? We got eight minutes. And I have one more crate. Uh, or I have two more crates that we could technically fill. So, all things considered, we're doing good. And, like, health, we're still fine. Although, I don't actually have any health potions in my inventory at the moment. But that's fine. Ooh! Okay, we got one of these rooms. 
Take all the things. Yep. Go. No, see, I want to climb up the tree, please. There we go. Thank you. We are very speedy. Burger patty. Don't need the carrots. That's a good one. Okay, I think that's all the stuff that's up in the canopy. Yeah, this is definitely not where I want to be. So... Time for power bar? Ooh, hello. Or speed candy bar? I mean, we're finding a bunch of gilded chests just lying around. This is why gilded, I think, is 100% worth it. Even if it's a difficult vault. Because you just find so much more loot. Unfortunately, it looks like this is a dead end. So I don't think we're going to be finding much here. Oh, there was a burger patty. We definitely want that. And there is a witch right here, I know. But the witch can't actually get to me at the moment. So for now, I'm safe. I, we're not fighting a boss in this, but I don't know why I even bothered with the obelisk, but it's okay. So I guess from this room we'll go south instead, which looks like that's taking us towards our uh, overall objective anyway. We do have this, which is a really good room for ores. How are we doing on time? Eh, might be able to do it. Maybe? It's going to be tight. Yeah, you know what? We're, we're going to spend just a little bit of time in here so we can get some of these very important vault ores. But I'm not spending long here. Okay. No vault ores there. None there. N nothing there. All right, we're 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 out. We have three minutes. Okay, so yeah, we just need to get out of the vault, like, at this point. I don't know. It should actually be this room, like, right here. Right? This one? Yeah. Yeah, it's... Okay, so we're in the right room now. So, I'm just going to do a quick peek around this one room that we're currently in to see if I see any obvious chests that I missed. Doesn't really look like it. We only got two minutes left, and our inventory is pretty full. I think we're just going to get out of here. That was honestly a really good vault. We found all sorts of stuff. Now, that was a vault. That was a good one. All right, I got everything organized here. So, first of all, the actual vault stuff... We got a few more traders. Doesn't really look like any of them are that great. We got one, two, three unidentified vault swords. Two of them, uh, one is scrappy, one is scrappy plus, and one is common plus, which is awesome. Uh, copy, uh, common plus unidentified vault boots, an uh, a helmet, and an idol. And these are both scrappy plus. So let's roll these first. We'll see how these turn out. So we have a vault sword. Another vault sword. This is the common one. Extra attack damage. 9.38? How does that compare? So this is... Actually just worse than a netherite sword. Although, uh, this is not enchanted yet. And my netherite sword does have sharpness 5 on it. So, this probably once enchanted would be better. And it has extra attack damage, which is good. Uh, so yeah, that'll be very good for us. Uh, these swords are kind of like, eh, whatever. And then our boots are just common. Requires level 28, which is a little annoying. Uh, they don't look that great. I mean, they basically just have better armor. Slightly better armor. And then, I don't know what the diamond armor symbol means. The, the .5? I'm not sure what that is. But these will be... I mean, it's still a, a straight upgrade for our normal boots. And then the, the idol and the helmet. Let's see here. 
So we got parry. Okay, that's good. And then another helmet. Uh, that again is just better than our netherite helmet. So it's something. Um, also, very fashionable. Like, I, I threw the boots. I didn't mean to. Oh, I can't put them on because they require level 28. Right, right, right. So, very fashionable. <laughs> anyway, uh, so yeah, that's all good stuff. Uh, for now, I'm just going to toss these into their respective chests. Like so. Uh, we also got a bunch of mystery boxes and relic booster packs. And I actually had a number of these already from earlier. So, let's just open these real quick. All right, what did we get? We got three relic pieces, a sword stick, a purple cupcake, and a water element, and then we got a couple of mystery boxes as well. I think, yeah, I was gonna say, we already had the sword stick, unfortunately. But, now it's time for the mystery boxes. There we go. Anything good? Uh, some okay stuff. Jade apple, pixie apple, burger buns, vault bronze, and then some assorted vanilla stuff and things, some enchanted books. Nothing here that I'm incredibly in excited for, but uh, still, you know, free resources are always good. Next on the list, we have a bunch of gems, and we might as well fortune them right away since we are all the way up to fortune six. And I don't really see us going above that anytime soon, so might as well do it now. What do we get? 20 of those, two Laramar, four Alexandrite, and one Painite. Not bad. Those add to the gems that we actually had already grabbed. Plus, we got a, uh, seven Volt Diamonds and two Volt Nuggets, which are both quite good. Like, that's that's honestly very, very good. Uh, so we're up to 11 Volt Diamonds, which is enough to make another Star Core. Uh, we also got Star Essence. And speaking of star core, we should now have enough. Oh, there we go. To make another knowledge star. So we'll take that for sure. That'll be quite good for us. And I think again, we're just gonna go decorative something. Uh, let's go furniture. It doesn't really matter. Um, but yeah, we'll do that. That'll make, again, all the other mods cheaper. I do know that the next major mod I want to unlock is either Danks, Immersive Engineering, or Create, I think. One of those three would probably be really good. Um, Danks would make collecting stuff in the vaults a little bit easier. Create and Immersive Engineering would both allow us to automate the production of some various vanilla resources, which would be quite helpful. So, I don't know. We'll see. One of those two, uh, or one of those three mods, I'm probably going to unlock uh, as the next one. Then we got a Gifter statue, which is whatever. Uh, dirt. I mean, I, yeah, you know what? Come to think of it, dirt is a resource that it will ask for in the uh, vault altar, so I suppose, sure. We might as well toss that guy down. There we go. Um, speaking of which, actually, I think it would be really good for us to make a statue cauldron. And the way you do this is a cauldron Surrounded, surrounded with netherite, like so. Uh, there are a lot of resources that these statues can give you that you just don't really care about, like slate and hardened stone. This isn't deep slate, this is just slate. It's like a bluish block. Gray alabaster, dolomite, myelite, rebar concrete. Like, these, they're nice, they're free resources, it's great and all, 
But the thing is, unless you plan on like building with one of those specific blocks, it just doesn't really do anything for you. They just kind of take up inventory space. So instead, um, you may have to fill this with water or do you right click? No, I'm pretty sure you got to fill this with water. Uh, do I have a water bucket? There we go. So you can use the statue cauldron to essentially recycle a bunch of these statues that you don't care about. Now, it does take a lot of them, uh, but eventually, once you dump enough of them in, uh, you'll be able to get a statue that will never run out and will just produce resources forever, which is uh, super useful, obviously. Uh, and it will give you a choice of a few different blocks that you can choose uh, for what resource it produces. So, very, very good, potentially. Uh, oh, there's another one that I can get rid of as well. Uh, but yeah, that was a, a really good vault. Let me get all this other stuff put away, and then we'll uh, go from there. And after all that, I realized that I forgot to take the shard holding bag thing that we made last episode. Or actually, I don't know if I actually made it last episode. I was thinking of making it, and then I forgot. And then I made it off camera, and then I forgot to use it. <laughs> Typical. Anyway, I want to get these uh, two pieces of vault gear all enchanted up. And actually, we should probably do the boots, too, while I'm at it, uh, which, no wait, the boots are level 28, right? I gotta be level 28 to wear the boots? Did I put them in here? Yeah. Yeah, I gotta be level 28 for the boots. So those aren't gonna do me any good either. I also should probably find out if you can put enchantments onto, uh, the idol. Let's just see, do I have like a protection four book anywhere? Holding, piercing, impaling, fortune, power. The, the fire protection is on there. Let's just see. Will this even work? Can I go like this? No. Okay, so I don't know that the idol... Maybe the idol can have certain enchantments on it, but I don't know for sure. So yeah, I'm going to do a bit of villager trading, get all the enchantments we need, and then we'll head over to the Ender Ender. So I made it to the end and totally forgot to bring anvils with me. Well done, self. We, we're going to need these. <laughs> I'm a genius. Okay, let's try this again. First of all, we're going to go with the sword. Now, uh, it should be noted that you cannot put mending onto vault gear. All right, so this would be 1238. Yeah, that is a little bit better. That is a little bit stronger than what we had. But I'll put Sweeping Edge, Sharpness 5, Unbreaking 3, and Looting 3 onto the sword. Uh, we also only want to use these in vaults, by the way, because otherwise, uh, I mean, as I said, you, can only, you can't put mending on them. So in the, and, in, and in the overworld... Uh, you don't really need anything better than just fully enchanted netherite, like, you're good, because they're... But in the vaults, the mobs are obviously significantly harder. So, yeah. Uh, let's see. So next up, we got the helmet, and we want Aqua Affinity, Respiration 3, Projectile Protection 4, and Unbreaking 3. And we'll just make sure we get enough levels. There we go. And you know what? Let's call it first vault helmet. And uh, that way we know that it's the first one. I suppose it's going to cost me a bunch of levels to rename this, right? Yep. That's kind of what I was afraid of. Should have thought of naming it beforehand, but... Uh, well, too late now. Either way, these will be really good for us in the vaults. Uh, I think I'm going to spend a little bit more time here just getting some levels because you never know, uh, like, you're going to go into a vault, find one of those vault altars that requires, uh, you know, experience. So, yeah, I'm going to get a few more levels while I'm here. Might as well. 
And you know what, my friends? I think that is going to do it for today. We ran a vault. We got our first vault gear, uh, which, you know, very fashionable. Uh, <laughs> and a new vault sword that should serve us pretty well, so happy about that. But yeah, we're going to call it here. My friends, if you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Links in the description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.